go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. We're still doing Spring of Sorrow, week number two, and this time we're going in with Photon. If you watched the last video, I already did this with Hercules, so I'm a little bit more at ease with the fight and with dexing his specials. Now, my Photon is a rank five, SIG 200, and Ascended. So when I saw that she met one of the objectives and was good, I said, okay, she's pretty tanky, okay? But now, one thing I will tell you guys, I don't know if you guys know about AI profiles, but the AI has what's called a profile, which affects their behavior, okay? How they fight. And you can get an AI profile that's extremely passive. You can get one that's extremely aggressive, okay? So sometimes it's better to just restart. It's just better to restart. Now, I'm trying to get used to fighting this with Photon, okay? You can see I, I still have the evade, but look at that. You need to intercept him, but sometimes he'll just do a standing intercept. He won't attack. He'll just smack you, okay? That happens, all right? Don't worry about it. Let it roll off your, your back, okay? Go on, bust your shoulders off and go back in. But I actually learned that Photon was good as an attacker as well as a defender because the majority of the time you're going to see her used on defense. But she's actually pretty decent uh, on attack for, you know, some matchups. Now, she is pretty resistant, okay? So all those neuroshocks and everything... She doesn't take a ton of damage, but you still want to learn, if you haven't already, to dex his special one. You do not want to deal with that special one getting hit with it regularly, or it's just going to make things worse for you. Okay, so you can see here I've got, you know, a lot of energy resistance buffs from dexing him. And I am running the recoil masteries. That is something that is actually good. For this fight because it makes it go faster that's one of the reasons that i like the recall masteries the fights go faster uh i do boost up a little bit you know i think i put on a um a 15 percent and a and a 20 percent for hercules and i might still have those buffs active here because the hercules fight only took like seven minutes those two goes at it we're like seven minutes okay now what i'm looking at here is to just get a good run and my idea of a good run is like 20 or 30 percent because that means i'm not gonna have to use a lot of revives i'm not going for the solo so i'm not trying to stress myself out okay and right there he uh he did something dirty my recoils got me, but he hit me and left me a little bit so that my poison can take me out. And I'm looking at this, right? And I'm like, you know what? That's good enough. That's a good enough uh, start. Let's keep this rolling. We don't want to sit here trying to get a solo for 30 minutes when I can be done with this fight in 10. That's, that's how I approach these fights, okay? And I'm not that 
familiar with using Photon. So I'm also learning, you know, a little bit about how to use her. You know, now look at that. I'm like, really? Really, bro? That's what you're going to do to me? All right. Still trying to get him. I'm just like, you know what? One thing I, I did learn, and um, you're going to see it more in the next uh, fight, the next video that I, I put up. But I learned not to do five hit combos when they get that like that right there, that crush charge. Don't do a five hit combo. And I'll explain why. Here's what the AI likes to do. The crush is basically like an unblockable. So, okay, understand that. So, if you do a five hit combo, what are you gonna do afterwards? He has a crush. You're gonna do one of two things. You're gonna either try to block, not a good idea with crush, cause he's gonna just hit you. You're gonna try to get some space by dashing back. And you know what the AI likes to do? As Soon as you dash back, fire their special one. Before you can recover, it's got you. No way you can deal with it, even though you know how to evade and everything, okay? So the way to deal with that is to do a four hit or even a three hit combo when you see he has a special or you're gonna push him to a special and he's gonna have crush. Just do that. Hit him with like a three or four hit combo and that allows you to dash back and be ready for the special so that you can dex it. Because he's gonna be recovering and you dash back, he's not gonna be able to fire his special while he's recovering. The AI hasn't evolved that far yet. So that's what I learned to do, okay? Now, one of the reasons you don't wanna parry him is because he'll turn off your willpower mastery. Not a good time, especially when you're running the recoils. Uh, so like right now, because I accidentally parried him, look at my health. Look at the willpower. He turned it off. I got like plus one coming out and I'm losing 206. That's because I accidentally parried him. Okay. So, you know, just be aware of that. And then look at that. He just came right on in and I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm just trying to get some damage in. All right, here we go. I got the intercept, bam, bam, all right? Good damage. Let's uh, evade that out again, okay? And now, boom, got the intercept, boom. Keep going. Uh-oh, it's gonna be at this special. Now, see, I, I stopped it so that I can do that and evade it, okay? Bam, got the intercept. Now, here, I should have just gone ahead and uh, fired my special. Reason being, the AI is also very smart with their timing. The AI knows that I'm losing health. They know the rate that I'm losing health. So if you go back and look, he fired his special at just the right time that I would not be able to respond. I have to dex it, but my health would be gone. I wouldn't have any time, perfect timing for that, okay? It does it all the time. So since, you know, when I saw that I had 5% and I knew that my um, poison was gonna take me out anyway, I should have just went ahead and used the special, got a little bit more uh, damage in, all right? But I didn't, it's all good. We're getting her done. Uh, but anyway, that is the fight. You really want to learn how to dex his special one, and that's probably 90% of the fight. After that, it's intercepts. That's pretty much what you want to do. Intercepts, fire your specials, of course, do your damage, but those intercepts are not always easy to accomplish because of the AI. This AI is terrible, okay? And even though you have different uh, profiles at times, it, he's just bad. He's just bad. Okay, you notice there, I did not do a five hit combo so that I could dex it, okay? And then here we go, 
And all I'm trying to do, get that damage in. Okay. And we're doing pretty good right here. Okay. And then that happens. And I'm like, really? And if you notice, you probably noticed already, um, when he fires a heavy attack, he gets unstoppable. So you can't punish his heavy. So you really want to intercept and bait special ones. I do not know how to bait, uh, to evade his special two yet. Okay. So if I push him to a special two, I'm going to get wrecked. Not really much. I, I, I know how to evade the special one now. Now I got to learn how to evade his special two. But one thing I will say that this has done, it's forced me to learn how to do his uh, special one. So in Battlegrounds, maybe I won't... Um, look at that. Whew, just took me out. Um, maybe I won't ban him now that I know how to evade his special one. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but at least if, if I have to, I know I can evade that special one. Now, one thing to a stress-free experience, go in here with revives and or units. And don't worry about the solo. If you need to use some um, revives, use them. The rewards are worth it. Okay. Now, I've done one path in Necropolis, and I ended up using like a hundred revives. Okay. This is nowhere near that resource intensive. So I will do these, and at some point in time in the future, see, like right there, I tried to intercept him because I need to get that off. Okay. Finally, I got that, and now, now you're going to get it. You're going to get it. It's over. It's over. Get him. Ooh, he tried to run. No running. So we are done with that objective. We have two more objectives to go. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. How did your run go? How do you like this fight? Boring? Dull? And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.